Yo, dudes, what up? 25 years ago, I was listening to this music, and someone told me that I was never going to accomplish anything playing games like this. And here I am, 25 years later, and I am sitting in the house that I'm about to own. I have a brand new car in the garage, and I have everything I need to survive in this world. I'm about to show you guys a new house tour. I just recorded it, but I just wanted to say a few things before I show you guys. Um, thank you guys for everything. Um, I'm about to show you guys my house. I put a lot of time into it, and soon I'm going to own it, and I'm going to be living here for the rest of my life, probably. Um, I'm gonna be streaming for you guys, and let's fucking go, dude. I'm really happy right now. So, without further ado, the updated house tour. But first, you guys need to see my car. I'm gonna show you the car I just got. Roll it! Yo, yo, what up, Howards? I know you guys are here for the house tour video. I just got done recording it. But first, I want to show you guys the new car. Hey, look, dudes, I didn't really think this through. Uh around and this is kind of weird so I'm just gonna get out and try to do this real quick all right this is my car the Civic hatchback sport I would show all the details but like I said there's people around me and uh, this is kind of weird so here it is No, I gotta have that on there. All right, so in the back, I have this organizer thing. This is called the Fordham box. I absolutely love this thing. It's perfect for groceries and stuff. You can like take this apart and like pull these up and then like fold it down and stuff. I don't wanna really do it all right now because there's like probably people watching me, but okay, in the back here, I just keep some, a bag with like tools, um, like replacement fuses, just basic tools you would need if you break down and stuff. I have a, a first aid, aid kit over here. If like I need to like pull over and help someone, I basically have everything I need in here. Have like like a, a fold up like shovel in case like I get, I get stuck in the snow. Uh, some traction things, portable tire pumper upper, some safety cones. Um, I got like like traffic lights, like safety lights and stuff like that. Like if someone crashes and like I can like pull over and put the lights on the road and help them. Or if I get hurt or whatever. I have pretty much everything I need in here. Yeah, dudes, here is here's my car. I love it. It's absolutely amazing. So yeah, dudes, enjoy the house tour video. All right, yo, yo, testing. All right, I'm gonna make sure I record this in horizontal this time. What up, dudes? It's time for house tour 2.0. Got a lot of stuff to show you guys this time. All right, here we go. First room, ignore this room. This is my workstation. This room gets sacrificed so that I can work on all the other rooms. As you guys can see, over here we got my kindergarten diploma. The highest grade of school that I completed, or the, the highest diploma that, that I was awarded, at least. Got some, some fancy, you know, furniture, some plants. Got a plant over there as well. Starting to add a little bit of feng shui in here. All right, so let's get out of this room. This room is a mess. That leads us to the kitchen. Oh, sorry, it's a little it's a little dark in here. Alexa, turn on the kitchen lights. Okay. There we go, much better. All right, and in Deller fashion, you know we gotta start with the trash can, baby. Got some upgrades, check it out, son. Dominating. Uh, we got our recyclables, water bottles, cans. Um, Always have a blade disposal box. Don't just throw your blades in the trash. That's it's not right. Someone can get hurt. This plant right here, one of my favorite things I've gotten. Absolutely love that guy. Got all my uh, my networking wires hidden back behind there. Here is the cooking stream PC. I ran a wire all the way 
up here all the way over back into the computer room that was kind of a pain in the butt but i think it turned out pretty cool um this is new i didn't have a table or anything last time you guys saw this nothing fancy it's pretty basic minimalistic but i like it i think it's pretty cool over here added a few things got my uh, little dust cleaning station got my vacuum uh broom and stuff i got this privacy thingy uh at menards i think it was it's Pretty cool, they don't have any more, or I'd get another one, but yeah, I like that thing. Kind of a weird spot to put it, but I think it looks pretty cool there. Um, updated kitchen. You guys can see I added a little floor mat, a cool little sign, a place mat. You guys can see I'm, I'm getting a little bit of a home decoration side of me. Starting to make it look kind of cool in here. Uh, got rid of the old red toaster, got a nice blacked out one. Up here we got all my spices. I think this is pretty much exactly the same since uh, the last house tour. I don't think I've actually used any of these except salt and pepper. Um, got the old Jack Daniels. That's been there for like two years. Always got to have a handy little fire extinguisher. Be safe. In here, I got to show you guys this. I have to show you this. Look at this. Blacked out silverware. Beautiful, all matching blacked out, baby. Up here, got a, a couple little ambient decoration thingies. Down there, don't look at that, that's my, that's my grocery list. Always gotta write down what you use so you don't forget, so you can buy it easier. Um, there's the old bottle of champagne that I took one sip of and then dumped down the drain for the, uh, the thousand member celebration stream. Got a nice little good smelling candle, falling leaves. Very good smelling candle. Alexa, hallway lights on. Okay. Okay, there we go. Bathroom. This has been updated quite a lot, as you can see. I've started to actually try to care about my environment. It's not just a, a dusty mess anymore. I got my sunglasses up there. Got all the, uh, the bathroom amenities that any man would need. Over here, we got first aid kit. Got everything you would need in there. Tourniquet, blood clotting stuff, and then, you know, your usual uh, bandages and all that kind of stuff. Pretty much anything you would need in there. Any kind of emergency should be fine. I keep one of these in my car and in my bag in the other room, too. Here's some... Just a couple little house warming uh, additions have been added. The the carpets. Oh yeah, I cut cut that custom cut. Very nice. Same shower curtain. Ah, uh, that's pretty much it. All the uh, different kinds of alcohols and rubbing alcohols that you would ever need. Now this, I don't have uh, I don't have Alexa working in here yet. I got to replace that old uh, ceiling fan so I can do that. But th this room right here is probably my favorite room now. Uh, I like I like my computer room too, but this room as you guys remember This is the beef room my tool slash laundry slash weapon room I'm not gonna go into all the uh, the weapons. I have I don't think YouTube really likes that Maybe that'll be a, a video for another day, but yeah, here's this room um, as you guys remember there used to be just like a pile of clothes in that corner and then like a box or something over there and then that was it um this room used to be full of empty boxes cardboard old computer parts the whole floor was covered it was a nightmare um i spent a lot of a lot of time on this room and it started to to turn into something that i like a lot so up here we got uh all my power tools not all of them but most of them uh, down here we have just my car manuals i've been reading and studying those don't look at those don't make fun of me. All of my power tool batteries, uh, range bag, my go bag. If I if there's ever beef, I grab this bad boy and I go. Doesn't matter where, doesn't matter when. Pick that up, I'm good to go. Got some cool patches on there that some gentlemen sent me, some viewers of the stream. These are all like actual like military patches that were like worn in, in Afghanistan and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, this one wasn't. I don't think there's a soldier out there named Deller. Um, yeah, they made this for me. I thought that was really cool. This is one of the coolest things I have. In my other room, they, they sent me actually a retired nuclear launch keychain lanyard. Uh, that's my other room, and I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. But um, over here, this is where, I mean, probably you probably don't need me to tell you. I just come over here, and this is where I clean all my guns and stuff, take them apart, maintain them, tighten them up, whatever. 
Don't make fun of me. Um, over here, this right here is for all of my attachments and I guess like sort of consumable tools. Got my like air hoses, um, heat gun attachments, vacuum attachments, drill bits, handles, grinding wheels. It's kind of dark in there. Cutting pads, uh, saw recip saw blades. You know, it's that kind of stuff. Whatever you, whatever you need, it's pretty much in there. Um, under there, I got this is where I keep my my power tools if I need to like transport them or whatever. Got a few other random things in there, like some stapler and stud finder and all kinds of little random things. In here, the closet. This used to be a mess. This is where uh, all the old computer parts and crap went. I organized them, put them all in boxes and put them up here. Got the blacked out hangers, all the same. I used to, it used to be a rainbow in here. I used to have like pink, orange, different sizes. It was a mess. Now they're all the same blacked out. Mwah. Beautiful. Uh, down there, just a random box of crap. DeWalt air compressor. That right there, my vacuum. That thing right there, that DeWalt vacuum, cordless vacuum, a godsend. Get one of those if you're thinking about it. They're absolutely amazing. You can carry that thing and vacuum anywhere with ease. I love it. Oh, first, there's my, uh, my BB gun. My grandpa gave me that probably like 20 years ago. That's one of the oldest things I have. One of these days, it's probably gonna be an antique. It might be an antique now, I don't really know. In there, just uh, various weapons and, and you know, self-defense kind of things. Uh, same with down there. Got all my different carrying cases and, and whatnot. Got some knives that uh, some gentleman sent me in the purple box in the last fan mail video. Some some other stuff. I don't really want to go into this stuff too much because I know a lot of my audience is younger and talking about this stuff is kind of weird, but it's all there for self-defense. And, you know, I've taken classes and training and, and gotten supervised training from people and I'm very safe and everything. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this room and then uh down there we got the polisher that's for the beef mobile got the nice roops polisher rupez i'm not sure how to say it but it's one of the one of the best polishers you can get I'm gonna use that for the beef mobile all right that leaves us to alexa bedroom lights on okay my bedroom this has also been updated quite a bit just give you a quick little look-see Finally got a new mattress. My old mattress, I don't even know how old it was. It was falling apart, it was fading, it was bent and dented, it was a piece of crap. There were things that stuck out right here that I always used to stub my toe on. This mattress, amazing. I am so happy I got this. My blanket has definitely seen better days. Uh, as you can see, it's been stitched and repaired in many different places. <laughs> I've tried to find a new blanket to replace this, but I'm very, very particular with my blanket and I can't find a good one. Yeah, this thing, this thing has been through hell. There's literally blood stains on it. Blood, sweat, and tears are in this blanket. Uh, over there's the alarm clock and the, the bed, uh, adjustable power device uh computers i'll go into that stuff in a minute here is my charging station up here can, you can pretty much charge whatever you need got all these th those are typical usbs and then you got the uh the, the lightning cable or whatever for the phone uh my headlamp which is i charge it here this this headlamp another very great investment i i would suggest getting a headlamp if you don't have one it's like a, a necessary the thing for a human being to have, I think. Uh, self co self counting uh, change jar, pretty cool. Um, all my security stuff, VR stuff. Oh, I need to show you guys this. I absolutely love this thing. Multimeter to test voltages and stuff. This right here is a battery case that has pretty much every battery I would ever need. I need to add a few. I cut these myself because it only had room for like a few of these these smaller ones. And then up here, you got the uh, the loose area to just to add all the random extra ones that don't fit. This thing right here is amazing. I would suggest getting one of these. It's very nice to have the batteries that you need and to not have to worry about it. Um, yeah, and there's the rest of my VR stuff. I have salmon down there, just VR cords and, and stuff like that. All right, over here, upgraded my, uh, my surge protectors. Actually got some decent ones. I figured, you know, if my job is my computers, I might as well have a decent surge protector. So I got a, a pretty good one. What is this? This is a, uh, a Furman. Furman make really good um, surge protectors. I, I would recommend these guys. I got my VR headset, uh, VR hub, my tracker dongles. It's a really dumb word. 
um if you can see back there yeah it's it's getting pretty uh it's getting pretty packed got the uh, i've already showed you guys this but here's the stream pc game pc monitors i finally got my 240 hertz monitor as my primary one you guys remember i was using this as my stream chat monitor for a while i upgraded my mixer so yeah my sound is is much better i can i can control individual i can control the the stream pc or the game pc sound individually um actually got some decent speakers now i used to have like ghetto like five dollar ones that were really crappy and staticky got the other one back there what else oh yeah i got this uh this table's bigger much bigger and solider to withstand the smashes Got a better microphone. It's kind of scuffed. It's been broken a few times, so it's taped up. Uh, over here, it takes a little bit of abuse as well. Um, this screwdriver. Oh, yes. I didn't show you guys my other screwdriver in this room. Wanted to show you this. Um, oh, yeah. I didn't show you these either, my tools. Let me check. Let me show you some of these, actually. Uh, uh, this is another thing that I like a lot. It's Milwaukee Packout, baby. Any tool guys in here knows know what this is. But if you haven't seen it, this, this stuff's great. I love it. And you don't even need it for tools. You could use it for stuff like this. In here, I have glue pens over here all the uh like the office supplies you know tape different uh safety pin sizes rubber bands all that kind of stuff um i'm not going to show you guys all this stuff because it's not everyone's interested in tools but uh in here we got uh i just got some basic fasteners just just to be safe it's always nice to have something around stuff to hang pictures i got a uh another box like that with fasteners underneath this i don't really want to take it out to show you it's just screws nuts bolts etc in here we have my primary toolbox i got i think pretty much anything you would need i spent a couple of weeks uh doing research watching videos guides on basically uh any tool a man would need for his day-to-day -day life and i just went through and i picked out all the best shit that i could find stuff that's gonna last me hopefully my whole life not only that but you know after my life hopefully this stuff i'll be able to hand it down to someone else after me yeah there it is i'm trying to be smart with uh your guys' sub money and stuff and i hope you guys are proud of me I, i'm trying my best i think this stuff's gonna last me forever and i'm very happy i got all this stuff i've already used a lot of it and it's coming it's coming clutch many times and there we got the uh stomach mechanic tool set of course i'm gonna show you guys this all right in here we got pretty much anything i would need torx sockets wrenches obviously not everything's here there's a couple you know different sizes that it's missing but generally this has pretty damn much anything like someone someone of my skill level would need so i think i'm pretty much covered there so yeah there's all the tools now i want to show you guys actually the most important tool of all this one this this screwdriver right here used to be the only tool i had this thing has seen a lot of use a lot of use i've had this for like 10 years i've put together many pcs with this this thing right here this one screwdriver is the reason i was able to get all this other shit i built my first pcs with this screwdriver um it's gotten me through everything this screwdriver got me through life so yeah i'll never i'll never get rid of this thing i'm gonna like frame this thing someday i don't know um now this screwdriver is very cool you know what i can't really show you on stream or uh with one hand so maybe i'll just show you on stream but basically you know what? i'll just show you guys on stream but this this linux it's called a nine in one and it's got like it's you can you can pull this out and it's got different bits and and screwdrivers nut drivers you can hammer on the back of this thing and and use it as that this thing's great i'll show it on stream sometime when i have two hands but this screwdriver is great I've, i love this thing all right now let's go finish up my room what did i not show you guys in here i i fixed my third monitor it's uh you guys know i i pretty much drop kicked the other the third 240 hertz monitor i have now i have a crappy 75 hertz but it works uh, i got some stress balls got my bullshit button i can't believe this thing's not broken yet but there it is got the wingman that gilly sent me uh some peepos got the mccree hat over here is all my uh just you know game controllers and computer mouses and stuff mario he's definitely seen better days all my safety stuff or when you want to when i want to smash a keyboard on stream got the ear protection eye protection hand protection stabilizers down there there's all the keys that we're gonna be keyboards that we're gonna be breaking the dewalt hammer there it is all right here with an arm 
arm's reach. Uh, Mountain Dew candle. Some other good smelling candles right here. I've become kind of a candle guy. I don't know why. I, I, I like good smelling candles. Um, of course, got the waifus in back. Little penguin guy. Someone sent the penguin and the hat separately. This hat was made for him and they sold it separately. I just, I thought that was interesting. He's got his own little customizable outfits and stuff. Fortnite llama. Uh, my two i9 cases those are cool uh vr trackers got this chair to chill and watch youtube and whatever like that's pretty much it down there just different various uh extra computer parts my heart rate monitor uh backup hard drives over here this little tray you guys have seen this on stream a couple times and people always say it's a weed tray and it's not, guys. It's just for this. I just keep, you know, my wallet, my cigarettes, just my day-to-day my -day stuff in here. I just empty out my pockets when I get home and put it all in here so it's organized. It's not for weed. I don't do that stuff. Well, maybe I do, but you're not going to know. All right, that's pretty much it. Yo, guys, I just want to throw in some final words here. Thank you guys for everything. I can't really explain how crazy this has been for me. My life has transformed entirely in just a little bit over two years. Yeah, anyone that's been watching me, you guys know how I used to have it, and getting here, being at where I'm at now, in in such a short time span, you know, thinking back on all the years of grinding and everything, it's, it's just, it's pretty crazy, man, and so yeah, thank you guys, none of this would have been possible without everyone that, that's watched and support me, so I'll see you guys on the next stream, peace out.